Hello everyone, one feature that Swift showed off since day one is safety. For example, you cannot use any object without being initialized. That's not true because we can declare an optional. And another one is that by default you don't have access to any C pointer, even nil. That's not true either because we can assign nil to a variable. Well, today we're gonna explore optionals and find out if all of that is real. My name is Pete and this, this is Infant Tips. Okay, first off, let's declare a variable int. It's there, but if we try to use it right away, look what happened. What I said before is true. You cannot use an object in Swift that is not initialized with a value, period. This is good in many ways, because Swift guarantee that all objects in the program will contain a value. For example, in other languages like Java or C, you can just declare a variable and use it right away. But of course, you must be very careful because if the variable contains a null value instead of a real one, it might crash your app. That issue won't happen in Swift. But then, what if in our logic is valid that a variable might not have a value for a period of time? Or if we need to wait to initialize it much later on? What can I do if Swift doesn't allow to use non-initialized variables? That's the job of an optional. An optional is a wrapper type available for all types in Swift, even any. This is one of the first things you use in the language because it gives you the flexibility not to assign a real value to your variable right now or in another moment. But what is an optional actually? An optional is a type that represents either a wrap value or the absence of a value, also known as nil. In other words, an optional is like a box. If you open it, you could find either the actual value or nothing. This is what you'd normally use to declare an optional in Swift. But if we want to display the type of X, we will find this. Right now, X is declared not has int, but optional int. We know it thanks to the question mark at the end of the type. Any type that ends with the question mark will be an optional type. And we haven't initialized X with an int value. That's why we are seeing nil has a result in the console. We're going to talk about nil in just a moment. What I want to show you here is the type. It is displayed as an optional bracket int. Int question mark is just a shorthand syntax to declare an optional int. Let's declare another variable optional int using the full expression. Both are the same. Okay, but if both are the same, let's go and explore optional in more detail. This is really interesting. Look what we found. It turns out that an optional is just an enum under the hood, and it has two cases, none that represents the absence of a value, and some with an associated value of type wrapped that is a generic, and this is the actual value that we put inside this box. Let's analyze the non case. At the beginning of the video, I said that by default, you don't have access to C pointers directly. That's true unless you use unsafe memory, but that's for another video. If we don't have access to pointers in Swift, what is nil then? My friends, nil is just a word to represent absence of data in Swift. It's a shorthand syntax. It's not related to null pointers at all. In fact, in optionals, when we get a nil, what we are getting under the hood is just a non-case value from optional enum. And we can represent non-case with nil thanks to this protocol expressible by nil literal. This protocol provides this initializer. Swift compiler will detect if an optional type is not initialized. If that's the case, it will assign nil to a variable, or in other words, none, automatically. In fact, optional is the only type in Swift allowed to not be initialized. 
sorry, but you cannot create your own version of optional. This is similar to what is never type in Swift. I will leave you a link in the description or in the card in front of you. Now let's go back and see this with an example. We assigned it 500 and an optional sum 500. Both are the same. Also, we assigned none to x and it's still represented as nil. Pretty cool, right? So tell me, do you know that optionals were in nums under the hood? Please let me know in the comments below. And don't forget, if you want to learn more about Swift UI, check out this video here about lazy bstack. And if you want to know why we cannot use in indices in a string, check out this one here. That's all for me. In the next one, we will explore more about unwrapping optionals. Thank you so much and have a great day.